now students so here we are with the question third of the chapter polynomial so the question third is if the zeros of the polynomial x cube minus 3 x square plus x plus 1 are a minus b a a plus b find a and b so the polynomial given in this question be px which is equal to x cube minus 3 x square plus x plus 1 and the three zeros of this polynomial px are a minus b a and a plus b so what have been asked in the question is to find the value of a and b let us write the polynomial given in this question in the basic form that is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus t so now it will be easy for us to compare this polynomial with the given polynomial in the quotient and find the value of the coefficients a b c and d so what we can use in order to find the value of a and b well we can use the relationship between the coefficients and the zeros of the polynomial px so the first relationship between the zeros and the coefficients of the polynomial says the sum of the three zeros will be equal to minus b by a that is the sum of the three zeros will be a minus b plus a plus a plus b which comes out to be equal to 3a this will be equal to minus b by a and here b is minus 3 and a is 1 so minus b by a will be equal to 3 so here we can find the value of a which comes out to be equal to 1 now substitute the value of a in these three zeros so here the values comes out to be 1 minus b 1 and 1 plus b so now we have found the value of a now what we have to find next is to find the value of b in order to find the value of b we will use another relation between the zeros and the coefficients of the polynomial that is the product of the three zeros will be equal to the coefficient which is a constant term in the new, uh, polynomial divided by the coefficient of x cube what it mean is that the product of the three zeros that is a minus b into a into a plus b which comes out to be equal to 1 minus b square will be equal to the constant term divided by the coefficient of x cube which will be equal to minus 1 that is minus d by a so if we apply the identity that is 1 minus b 1 plus b comes out to be equal to minus 1 or we can write it on the other way that b square is equals to 2 from where b comes out to be equal to plus minus root 2 that means there are two values possible for the constant for the value of b that is plus root 2 and minus root 2 now the question arises which value of b will be used in order to find the zeros so as we have two options that is root 2 and minus root 2 we will see that on substituting both the values the zero which we will obtain will be same let us see by taking the value of b is equals to root 2 if the value of b is equal to root 2 then the zeros will be 1 minus root 2 1 and 1 plus root 2 and if we take the value of b be equal to minus root 2 then the values of three zeros will be 1 plus root 2 1 and 1 minus root 2 
if we clearly observe the three zeros which we obtain by using two different values of b that is root 2 and minus root 2 we can clearly observe that the three zeros obtained are same. So what it means is that we can use both the values of root 2 that don't make any difference in getting the values of zeros as the zeros obtained by both the values are same. So here we will write that the value of a is equals to 1 and the value of b is equals to plus minus root 2. So we have obtained the value of a as well as for the value of b. This was all about the question third of this exercise. I hope this question is clear to all of you.